What's happening out there in YouTube land? This is Hagar with a mod review for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And joining me today is the mod father, LJ Cool 110 from gaming-fans.com. What's going on, LJ? How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Uh, our guildie, Psycho Poet, asked me if I would do a mod review, and who else than the mod father to, to help me out with that? He is doing pretty good. He's got, uh... Had a, 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 a rocky, very, what would you call this, a varied uh, arena history. Doing yeah, pretty good. what happened the end of January there? Well, how far did he drop that last one? That's the most recent one, sorry. 39, oh, oh yeah, sorry. 42, 42. Wow. yeah. Must have not fought that day. Something, yeah, something happened. But uh, if you take out the outliers, he's doing pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing a little bit more... Um, uh, a little more up and down, a little more roller coaster of late myself. Mm -hmm. I've been falling a little bit more each day, so it might just be the number of teams and number of players who have the same teams that can do the same thing. I find a lot of times people in the 50s and 40s and 30s don't realize they're just as good as the people in the top 10. <laughs> so they just don't ever push, and they don't spend the crystals to push. Might be. Or yep. like a lot of us, we have kids or families or whatever else, so you don't have time to do that at dinner time every night, which is definitely a challenge. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely with the, re the resurgence of that CLS event, we've definitely been seeing a lot of uh, new activity uh, in the top, at least in my shard, I'm sure in others as well. I've been seeing people coming out of the woodworks left and right. But let's take a look at this arena squad with, uh, we'll start with CLS here. We're looking at a 240 speed, and he went with uh, a punchy CLS. Uh, I went with uh, a speedy and potent CLS to get the initial uh, TM reduce and buff immunity up. That's how I went with mine. What do you think of his? Similar to the way I've got mine uh, mm -hmm. modded. Um, I've got critical chance, critical damage. He's got health and critical damage. Uh, where's the... I'm trying to see where the critical chance is. I miss, must be missing it on the screen. Uh, it might be lower on the screen, but yeah, um, the, the critical damage itself should be, oh, there's some of that, oh, 46.92, okay. Yeah, 216% uh, critical damage, 240 speed. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 solid. Those are all good numbers. Um, his health is higher than mine. His protection is lower than mine. Hey, that's, you know, you want the survivability stats good because when he, when he switches over from uh, the different modes, when he uses the, um, um, which one is it? The learn control? Is that the one where he the call to action? Jeez, I can't remember which one's which now. Yeah, it's the, it's the call to action. Um, he gains both the health and the protection. So, um, one sec. Yeah, I mean, you got to make sure you have plenty of uh, survivability there. I think he's got it pretty well modded. I, I'm guessing the reason he went health mods in there is simply because that's where he had a nine speed critical, critical damage mod. As opposed uh -huh. to your best critical chance mod or whatever else, and that might not have any speed or might be a plus three. So a lot of times you're at the mercy of what you have, not necessarily uh, what ideal would be. Okay. So what would you change on this? Um, mm. Looking at the, the bottom right, I mean, again, I think the reason he's using a critical damage with a health primary is because that's what he had with 14 speed on it. I, I took offense, mine per, uh, you know, my, my CLS is made to just hit like a truck. Um, yeah, that's one spot where, you know, I see something, you know, I, again, I would probably go, I think what is he, he gets the boost on the critical chance too, so you don't need a whole lot more critical chance. I think he's probably fine there. Just a hair more speed and a little bit more survivability would be my preference. Maybe just a little bit more offense. But this isn't bad. I mean, there's really, again, we're a lot of times at the mercy of what we have in our inventory, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. think he's probably used most of his best mods on CLS here, so I, I don't have any major objection to anything he's done here. All right. I just noticed my webcam's not on, but uh, you people know what I look like. You don't need to see me. Okay, R2. Oh, and speed on that. That's nice quick. fat speed. Look at that. That's nice. Well, that, that works really well when you're on defense since uh, you're most likely going to be the – man, that's faster than my R2. That's impressive. Um, yeah. yeah, most likely he's going to be the first one going, and then he's going to get the uh, 
get the stealth on everybody there with the smoke screen. Um, plus 16, plus 13, plus 30, plus 7 with tempered. I like the critical chance there. Um, interesting, okay. it's a 4 dot, but it's because it has 7 speed on mm -hmm. it. I'm guessing that's the reasoning behind it. Yep. Um, yes, yeah, I'd almost rather, but he's using speed mods. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm looking at some of these. I like the, the offense in the bottom right if it was on CLS, but since I have speed mod, that obviously can't trade out. Right. Um, I think that, yeah, I was going to say mine's quite a bit more potent. Uh, I do have potency mods on mine along with speed. Mm -hmm. uh, that might be one thing to look at, only 46% potency. So, you know, when you're getting, uh, when you're lighting everybody on fire over there or you're trying to stun them, you're going to want a little bit more potency. That would be the one thing I would say. Um, yeah, four dot mod. I mean, if it's your arena team, I, I realize that you're going to get you know maybe less speed. But if you got a five speed something, you know, with a five dot mod, mm -hmm. it's giving you better stats in that triangle. I would definitely consider. Yeah, that. it's it is the triangle though. That's like the triple rare. You got to have yeah. a triangle is rare enough, and then a yeah. triangle with speed on it is super is double rare, and then a triangle with speed with a, a good. A, you know, a good primary, that's the triple rare. So I don't blame him at all for putting that one in there. No, I don't blame him. I mean, I mean, I think the thing is, is, you know, I mean, it's kind of the reality of things with the way mods are and everything. You just, you know, I'm just, we're, we're able, we're just being super picky because that's really all you can do. He's got it well modded. So you have to mm -hmm. be super picky here. And that's, that's the only reason I would change that one because I'm being super picky. Mm -hmm. Yep, I would, I would keep everything the same. Maybe a potency set as opposed to the crit chance set, um, and a potency, yeah. potency plus. You gotta have those, those stuns. Those stuns are clutch. Yeah, or unless you've got a, a really good mod that has like a plus six percent potency or something. Every once in a while you see those. Mm, but yep. You hardly ever see those with speed. So go figure. Yeah, I pulled one. It was like a, a diamond had like seven percent uh, potency on it. It's pretty crazy. Uh, let's move on to. Han Solo. We have uh, 177 speed, okay, and I'm looking at four and nothing, nothing, seven, nothing, and the 30. We need more speed, yes. uh, even though he goes first. Uh, yeah, I would say more speed. Look at that. The red flag for me is that circle. Oh, what do you got here? I was going to yeah, say, this is some big, fat protection, big, fat offense. But yeah, let's take a look at that, yeah, let's take a look at that circle. Man, that's a good one. I mean, yeah, I'd like to have speed ups. So, yeah, but so anyway, on this circle here, I mean, it's 109 offense. I see that's probably Whew. why. But there's no critical chance and there's no speed, and those are the two things that I would absolutely have to have from, from Han because his critical chance is so incredibly important. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that would be the, the main things that I would uh, would take a look at. And then, I mean, especially because Deadeye, you gain – turn meter based on his critical chance. So if you can get that critical chance even higher, plus you can get some good speed out of that circle, that's going to boost both of those, so even if it's a sacrifice of your offense. Well, if you look at it, he's at 65 now. R2 yeah. adds 10 for 75, and Leia's buff. Does he have Leia? Does he run Leia? No, he doesn't run Leia. So it's, we're looking at 75. Right. That's pretty decent for... Yeah, that's good. I'm just, I mean, with, with it not having critical chance or speed, that's mm. the thing. If it were one or the other, I could totally... Pass it off. True. Yep. Neither on it. Um, yeah, the same with that the, the diamond there, that with a defense uh, primary diamond there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of the same thing. Again, I see why. It's critical chance is high. The offense is high. Mm -hmm. uh, speed would be nice, just especially when you're looking at a 177. That's hard to be arena viable with a 177. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at it. I, I'm, I try and compare here. You know, like I said, we're being super picky here. Looking at my, my uh, Han, and I mean, he's a 212. And he's not an arena guy for me. In fact, he's a territory battle, so that's about it, guy. So um, now I'm blessed with some very good mods because I've been mod farming forever. But I would I would definitely consider first the circle, then maybe the diamond, if you can find the perfect mod to replace this diamond because that's a hard one to replace with 3% critical chance and 114 offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Offense in the, right, I like that, that that critical chance mod, the plus with offense. I like that a lot. Seven speed. Obviously, if you get a critical damage with some speed, that'd be great. But man, to get eighty-two offense out of that, that's nice. Yep, sure is. Moving on nice. to the Gat Man. We're looking at two fifty speed, and he went with speed set and a critical chance set. Thirty-six percent critical chance uh, total there. Um, what is the 
plus 85 speed, so we know we can do around 100 is, is uh, definitely attainable. Um, Interesting with that diamond, or the uh, triangle. 36% critical damage on a CC mod with plus 13 speed, and it's... I've... Thrawn is one of those characters, he's so weird on mods, because I don't know that critical chance is the right way to go, but if that's your best mods, I mean, that's that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I know mine had a really nice critical chance set on him early on uh, when I first got mod, because I, I got Thrawn early on uh, in Seven Stars, and I had, because it was just one of my best mods, and he was my best tune, because it was before CLS. Uh, that's an interesting one. I don't know that it's the preferred route, but again, you're at the, the mercy of what you have. I would be interested in comparing the mods on Han and the mods on Thrawn and seeing if there's some way you could trade a couple of those out or work them with other mods in your inventory. Because um, I, I don't know, I, don't, I hate taking away any Thrawn speed, though. I, that's a tough one. I, I don't know that 186% critical damage is important with him as it is with, uh, with, with Han uh, when you the speed, too. I, I, this is the hard part about mods. And you write all these reviews, and I've, I've got 120 or so reviews up on the site. There's like 139 or 141 characters. They're all subjective. They're all, you know, it's all, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to say guesswork because it's not guesswork. It's, it's, it's um, just uh, situational. So however you want yeah, to use them. It is. I mean, there, you, there are ways to uh, make yourself more efficient and to optimize your mods and to... I mean, modify, because that's what they are. Hey, to, what do you know? To modify those strengths and make those strengths, mm -hmm. you know, take good to great. Yeah. Um, however, you know, someone can, one person can look at it one way, one person can look at it another. Like you so, and me and our and CLS. Yeah. I like a potent CLS. You like a punchy CLS. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a, that's a, that's exactly right. So, you know, I would make, you know, I would definitely make Han faster. I don't know if I would sacrifice anything Thrawn's got going on here or not for that. That would be something that I would consider, especially if you're not if you're not succeeding. Now he had some really good uh, numbers in the arena, so if he's continuing to battle for number one and has mm -hmm. a team that can fight his way up to number one, I wouldn't change a whole lot of anything, uh, unless you just get a brand new, you know, awesome mod or something. Yeah. Um, and you're sitting at thirty six percent crit chance. Uh, my comfortable number is forty, so I would I would probably stay maybe if you could get I like, uh, so maybe. I like that protection from the plus down there now I know it's again because he's got 13 speed mm -hmm. but I like that especially because he regains uh, protection when he grants it to others I think it's like 40 percent protection increase right. so I mean that's one of the things is his survivability comes from a special so um, yeah no I, I, I like this um, yep oh yeah look at that eight speed and six percent potency on that Ooh. Sword. oh six oh nine See, that's the thing. I'm trying to... Let me look at his basic and see how that... The mechanics of that would work. I can pull it up damage here. And grant them speed up, or if they already had... Okay, so the ability block comes after the speed wears down after the turn, so it's not a potency needed right. attack. I, I, I would take a look. I hate saying it because it's a nice speed mod with a nice speed secondary. That speed... That health or uh, circle with the health and the speed and the six percent potency might be better used on a different character if you can figure out a similar speed secondary out of a circle. Again, it's probably at the mercy of what it has, and that's the best mod he has at this time. But that could be something you could look at, um, maybe an R two, you know, six percent potency. That'd be a nice boost to R two. I can see that. Um, trying to think of someone else who I would. Uh, Want really fast that needs potency. Sith Assassin, mm -hmm. uh, Sam Wessel. You know those are characters that I tend to prefer having speed on, even like Yoda. So um, those are some ones. Now I'm not saying that's exactly what he should do, but if he were to get another circle speed mod with high secondary speed, I would consider trading that out. All right. Moving on to uh, Mr. Beardy, General Kenobi. I went with speed on mine because I want that mass assist going off as soon as possible. Uh, mine's at like 217, 218, something like that. He went a uh, defensive route. That's all another way to go that uh, that I would recommend. Um, God, his numbers are, are almost exactly the same as mine. He has a little more tenacity. Speed is just a hair faster. 
his survivability is just a hair lower. Critical chance is within a hundredth of a percent. Um, yeah, these numbers are very similar to the way I've got mine. Uh, the mod sets I have are one defense and two health. He's got two health and one defense. I mean, this is almost identical to the way I've got mine. The difference I have on mine is I have a defense mod in the triangle, not a speed mod, but I got 11 speed secondary. Hmm. So that was the, the big thing there that I had that was that's different. Um, I would definitely, the two things that stick out to me are, and again, I'm sure it's, he's at the mercy of what he has, but if he can get a triangle or a plus that have defense that are, um, or even, you know, health and protection, but preferably defense, um, any kind of survivability that are five dot, that difference can be, you know, I mean, that eight to 11 and a half, 11.75%, that's a huge jump. Hmm. So if he could get more defense out of one of those, or even if it's health and protection out of one of those. Uh, but again, I'm sure it's because he has the speed secondaries. Yeah. And I do like that. That's, man, those are some good secondary stats on the plus. 3.77% protection plus 840% or 840 protection plus tenacity. That's that's what you want in a guy who's going to absorb a lot of hits. Yep. Three percent protection up there in the plus plus three. Oh man, that square you got three point oh four percent defense plus nine speed plus three percent protection. That's a heck of a mod. It sure is. Yeah, he's got. I mean, he's got really good. See, the thing with Psychophone is he writes for the site. He has done mod reviews. He's done. He does some of the really, really high level stuff of understanding the stats. He totally understands all this. He just isn't spending the money that a lot of people are. <laughs> so. You know, I mean, he's going to outsmart, you know, you could spend hundreds of dollars more and he don't smart you because that's who he is. <laughs> now, I know him, so I can say that because I've seen the art, the content he writes. You go to our, uh, go to gaming-fans.com, go to the SWGOH advanced uh, content. He's written almost every single one of those pieces. So he writes the stuff that makes, that helps me learn. Um, he's, he's a fun one, but uh, yeah, he's got some good stuff here and he's, I mean, for someone to have four dot mods on an arena team that competes for the top five on a nightly basis, um, he's used them as well as you could possibly use them. Yeah, sounds good. I'll agree. Oh, that's it for the arena team. Uh, let's take a look at his uh, Sith team. I'm going to start with Darth Maul. Oh, first thing that... Pops out is the plus. Would you? I, I think I want to go potency on the primary. What do you think? Yeah, I probably would because you want to get that daze when he does the AOE. Um, I'm pretty sure he wrote the mods article on Darth Maul, so that's kind of interesting. But I find a lot of times I'll write an article and it'll say one thing, and my guy will say my my character will have a different one because of the way that I prioritize. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do have a, a potency uh, plus primary there I would recommend it you know uh, potency speed you know critical chance you know, he's gone really high on critical chance holy smoke 60.37 percent wow impressive and it's not a primary a critical chance primary on the triangle either let me look at these secondaries all right so the square he's got four percent cc mm-hmm and then he's got one percent from that critical damage. Oh, because his is gear twelve. Must be there. Must be a boost from gear eleven to gear twelve. That because mine's at fifty three percent. I thought that was pretty stinking high. Mine's yeah. Mine's and fifty, know, almost fifty one. Hmm. There must be a nice boost when you get him to gear twelve. Do we? Can you see how many pieces of gear twelve he has? Mm -hmm. oh. He's got the bayonet. Uh, the the big fat uh, damage, big fat damage boost there. Yeah, it's a Mach eight, Mach six AKT stun gun is what gets him there. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at this, um, you yeah, back to the mods here. Health on the circle, and I believe it's because of the you regain health mm -hmm. on the is it the unique. Yes, yeah, twenty percent of his max health. So yeah, that that makes sense. Plus six and plus nine, plus eleven on the speed on the left side. And again, if you can get a critical chance that's got more speed, that's great on the triangle. Mm -hmm. uh, or, yeah, critical chance mod with the critical damage primary with speed in it too would be great. But again, that's, there's so far, few and far between. Yep. I like that it's offense on the primary, but I'd rather it be potency on the on the plus. Uh, yeah, I don't have any major objection 
goals. Um, he's, again, most likely just using the best he has. The potency, oh, wow, it's 3.16%. I didn't realize it was that low. Yeah, that's got to get fixed. That's the one thing I would say. you got to yeah. get more potency for sure. Oh, uh, he does have that uh, buff that gives him, was it 0.03% of his health into his potency. Yeah. But that's only going to go so far. Yeah. Let's, uh, I'm sitting at 24 in mine. Just the, the plus is all I've got for mine. Yeah, I would definitely get a little bit in there. But outside of that, yeah, I mean, to have a gear 12, too, that's, that's yeah, it's solid. I mean, it, it's it's pretty good. And just potency would be the one thing. You know, if you can get more speed, sure. Ball, uh, ball's a tough one to get speed on. He's really slow. Mm -hmm. All right. Savage. Is it me or Savage just like a health generating machine with a giant like annihilate? Yeah, he's. Uh, I've, I've often thought about doing the most annoying to face <laughs> characters like a ranking. That's okay. I okay. In that, the one YouTube video I've ever done uh, where I talked, where I did the, uh, where I did your little uh, the challenge? challenge on the. Uh, on the Galactic, Galactic War, War Speed I Challenge. Yeah. Mentioned it there. I'm surprised someone hasn't stole my idea yet. But a top ten most annoying to face, and he would be on there with the Zeta, of course. Zeta Kylo would be on there. Mother Talzin would have to be on there. Uh, but I mean, Savage is just especially like you forget when the when the Sith wore out and they were no longer the meta. Mm -hmm. it, you kind of forgot how powerful Savage was, and then all of a sudden, Territory Wars comes along. And it's like, oh, Savage is a real pain in the ass. <laughs> so, you know, then it's like, oh, gosh, I don't like, you know, him and CLS are like the ones that you'll see that will be all by, or Kylo with his Zeta, will be the only one left. And it'll be like, you have to go put like a full team of five just to beat the one guy. And it's like, it's embarrassing. It's yeah, really I've been there. Yeah. yeah. So 162 speed sticks out right away. I would definitely look to get some more speed on him. There's no speed on the, on the square. There's no speed on the diamond, which is a four dot. Um, that's, you know, again, 3.75% defense you could get in there. If you don't even have any speed on it, I would just find a defensive mod that is five dots and just put it in there because mm -hmm. that 3.75% difference now, he does have a plus 12 defense. That probably makes up the difference. I hate how they have percentages and then they also mm -hmm. have whole numbers because one, it's so hard to calculate as a result. I'm not going to sit here and do an algorithm on it. It's not. <laughs> worth my time um health down there in the bottom left uh with the circle plus speed and defense and a ton of protection i love that mod um yeah that's that's if that was like a nine or an 11 speed that would be like that would be just gold because mm -hmm. uh, all the other stats are awesome um trying yeah the uh the arrow i'm sorry is good triangle again if i could get higher or get defense on it uh, i like health but 5.88 versus four percent you know it'd be nice to get that extra extra bit especially since the secondaries aren't fantastic bottom right offense no speed whatsoever lots of protection mm -hmm. i think i'd almost rather have health down there you look at what i've got on mine okay i've moved i've moved mine around i've got defense on mine as the primary uh that might just be a product of what i have Wow, I, I'm sitting here criticizing his four dot mods, and I have a four dot mod on mine. <laughs> We're being picky, though, right? We're being really picky, and I mean that's the whole point here. So, I mean, yeah, definitely more speed. I I feel like you you know you get him in the 180 range at least. Definitely uh, up the defense and the health more if you can. So, uh, but his numbers are actually better than the ones on mine, with the exception of speed. So, um, you know, I've seen critical chance, critical damage be. Uh, a focus of many uh, in an effort to when he uh, when he does the big hit to overpower mm -hmm. to make that even stronger. You know, I don't know. Whatever, it's not supposed. To, actually, it's isn't it a fixed rate or like ninety nine ten or something? It's not. I forget exactly how the mechanics of that would go. I haven't used my sub a whole lot. Of I think things. it's like I put him, I put him on defense and territory wars. and I don't even touch him anymore. <laughs> so it's been six months since I've used him. More than that since. CLS took over. Right, right. Uh, so yeah, get some more speed. You should be good. Yeah. Palps. I have a renewed interest in it for Palpatine. Everyone's all of a sudden uh, talking uh, about these potential Oh, don't, don't start with the rumors. I'm so sick of the rumors. Oh, well, I mean, the I'm rumor rumored out. Has been 
completely nixed by EA and Capital Games, and they gave us that information to pass out to all of you. And so, guess what? Revan's not the guy. <laughs> that's that's all we know, though. Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to say this. I'm fully comfortable in my non-disclosure agreement that I'm okay saying this. Okay, here's the deal. When they release a character of the month, there's a logic behind the character of the month. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to leave it at that. We have Sith Assassin as our character of the month. Yep. So that feels like they're tipping. You know, they're giving you a little tip. They're giving you a little tell if you're a poker player. You got a little idea. But they're not still not telling you what they have. You don't know if it's two pair or if they got a full house. Right. You know, or a flush or something like that. So, you know, are we going to get something related to Sith Assassin in some way at some point this month? Maybe. I really don't know, which is kind of cool. I just know that uh, three weeks from today, I will have found out because it would be uh, almost 6 p.m. Uh, California time, so we would be wrapping up for the day uh, three weeks from today when I'll be in Sacramento. So uh, I'll know more then. I probably won't be able to tell you, but I'll know more. All right. If you guys didn't know, uh, LJ is uh, a game changer, like mobile gamer and warrior and Arnold, and he gets uh, all the, the scoop, so, you, so to speak, or – Information or not information, uh, yeah. So, what if uh, if he says he doesn't know anything, then there's there's nothing to be known, really. <laughs> yeah, or I'm lying. I don't know. Anyway, uh, no. yeah. When I see you on chat, if like if like yeah. you say something like I can't tell you, then you know something. Or if you say like I guys, I don't know anything, then that that is really tells me okay, he really doesn't know anything, and that's probably. Yeah, it, not what that's, it is. A, that's pretty to our guild chat, too. It's like when people start talking about something and there's actually something going on, you'll see me clam up real fast. And I'll yep. stay up <laughs> and act like I didn't read it, and I'll just sit back here and grin. But, you know, like if I say I don't know anything, that means I'm not, I don't I don't lie to people because I'm not a liar. My wife would be the first to tell everybody that. So, uh, so I just don't lie. It makes it a lot easier that way. So uh, looking at Palpatine, he's a guy that I've had a – uh, renewed interest in for a couple of months now. I geared him back. I geared him up to twelve because of that, um, not because of territory wars or anything else. I wanted to be ready because I knew that he had two spots for Zetas available, mm -hmm. and I want to be ready because I think Palpatine should be one of the uh, best characters in this game based on you know lore. Yeah. Um, so you know that, that I think that makes a lot of sense. I like how he has a speed set on this. Mm -hmm. now, that, Looking at Palpatine, I too have gone with the speed. I didn't used to, but then I decided he needs every little last bit he can. Typically, I would save speed sets, speed mods, for characters who have a higher base speed than Palpatine does. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's not yeah, in the know. 160s. I think it's like 130s or 140 or something like that. Plus 64, for his base speed. so 64, that's 133, 134. So, I mean, 198 minus 64, so yeah, 134. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's got a good speed. He doesn't have a great speed. He's not 160 or 164 or something like that. So, with that having been said, he's one of those characters you just want to have him faster no matter what. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if, if he was a major piece to your Phase 3 heroic AAT, um, that's incredibly important. So, you know, having that speed, speed and potency. So, yeah, I like where he's at. Uh, the 198, I think that's a really good speed number. Survivability, I would think he'd have been higher given he's gear 12 with hmm. a piece. Yeah. Um, I see why. Okay, the big difference I have that he doesn't uh, is because the one piece of gear, does he have any gear on him? No. Gear 12. No. Nope. Okay. So that top left is the Mach 12 Armat pack. That thing is ridiculously good for the squishy characters. 6,250. Uh, so I would say that would be a full focus for him from a uh, – work on getting that one because that 6,250 health is a lot, a lot of health. Yeah, it is. Especially when he does you know, let the hate flow, he regains – is that the one or – yeah, that's one where he regains health and whatnot too. So having that extra bit going from 20 to 20 – maybe – 26, 26.6. So, yeah, that's the difference in his, his Palpatine and mine right now. Our speeds are almost the same. Potencies, his is slightly more potent. Uh, I like the speed on the top left, the square, the six speed. The critical chance is wasted in the, the, the dime there on the, the 
diamond speed out of 11.75 defense. The critical chance is wasted because he's a special damage and special critical chance. So um, mm. that's the only thing. That's a really nice secondary number to boost for somebody, but kind of doesn't do as much good for him since, since, uh, since all of his stuff's in special damage. Go over that um, a little bit. Talk about that a little bit. down there with tenacity and speed. Go ahead. Uh, talk about uh, the difference between critical chance for physical damage users and critical chance for special damage users. Well, the funny part is, the reason I know about this stuff, though, he's the one who taught me about it. <laughs> Months ago, or, you know, he's the one who helped me understand. I, I, I hate to say it, I don't claim to be an expert on it. But, uh, okay, so you have a physical critical chance, and then you have your special damage and special critical chance. So if you look at the mechanics of Palpatine, if you look at the, the lightning strike base, it deals special damage to target enemy, okay? Right. So then you go to the power of the dark side, deal special damage. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting into, these are all special damage. Now if you go back to the stats, I'm jumping around. I'm looking at my screen, so you know, just do the best you can to, to show what's on the, on the screen there. But if you look at the stats and you go down to physical offense, those are nice numbers, but the ones that matter are special offense, which are going to end up being farther down. There we go. So we have special damage of 53.62 and a special critical chance of 39.33%. All his is based on that, not on the physical damage. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's basically it. You have to keep a closer eye on things to make sure that um, – you know, those are the numbers you're focusing on because I remember once upon a time doing the heroic A18, I couldn't figure out why phase three, I couldn't get him to hit harder and I couldn't get him to hit harder more consistently. And I'd raise the offense and that would be the only way I could get it. It was like I was trying to raise critical chance over and over. And then I realized that I talked to Psycho Poet and we, we discussed that. So that's the main thing is, again, I think he's at the mercy of his mods. So that's probably why he has a speed. Uh, diamond there with uh, the 11.75 defense and the six, it was a six speed secondary, but the 3.79% critical chance. You know, I, the critical chance is wasted. Now, it may not, okay. Let me backtrack on that a little bit. Sure. I, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I, I may not be wasted. I, how that impacts the special critical chance is one of the areas where I'm as sure of at the moment so i'm that conversation just a hair um i love the potency in the bottom right with the plus mm -hmm. the plus four speed critical chance on that triangle you know what at the end of the day i'm going to trust psycho poet on this one if he's put critical chance on his guy dude knows what he's talking about so yeah i probably just made a fool of myself but whatever. that's all right it won't be the last time <laughs> oh all right Sith Assassin, the speedster herself. Yeah, now this is one where I definitely would have a speed set, speed on, because her base speed, can you scroll down and see what the mods, how much speeds come from the mods? Oh. 82. I I could add it on. 82, so what's that, 151? Yep. Yeah, so she starts off with a really nice speed already. So that's the thing, it's speed, let me make sure, what is it, 10%? How does that work? Speed is 5% on having the set on there, 10% on having a maxed set. So, I mean, just to do that one, here's one thing I can actually speak to and, and actually be correct on my math this time, and that is the speed. If you've got a guy with 130 speed and they get 10% boost, they get 13 more from right. four set from full speed uh, mods. And so the set has to be 15 speed boost, so she's getting a little bit more. That's why you don't put speed boost on Kane and who has like a base of 98 who get you know 10 percent you know 9.8 percent versus Sith assassin with 151 it's 15 percent more right. so um i would i would definitely consider speed on her just because i mean at 233 then all of a sudden you're in the 240 range or 240 feet but i've seen people recommend the chance critical damage mm -hmm. uh where is the critical chance on on Sith assassin 43. 43. Solid, yeah. Yeah. He's, looks like he's going for that, uh, the Assassin Savage duo. 
with yeah. assassin zaps, and then if he well, gets it low enough, yeah, that's know, what I've not done a whole lot of. So I think that's a smart way to go about it. And I'm, I'm sure he knows more about that strategy than I, I specifically do. Um, but there are some really nice scenarios on these mods. 10, 16, 10. I like the fact that the critical damage has some speed on it on that triangle. Mm -hmm. It's just, again, it's so hard to find a triangle mod with any speed at all that's a five dot and it's worth it. Yep. You know, a lot of times it'll end up being health speed. If it's critical damage, it'd be perfect. So, um, yeah, offense down there in the bottom right, the 13 speed. Yeah, I don't have any problems with this. I don't I don't use it to assassin significantly. I have. I have her at seven stars, but I, she's not ever been uh, a major piece in, my, in any of my lineups. Yeah. So I um, used her in an arena uh, about a year ago, back in the in the Zal days. Uh, I ran her and I put her in my arena team at like gear nine, and that's what like boosted me to like to the top ten to the big ranks. And then I, I built her up, and I was I was running G nine Sith Assassin in in arena, and I was it was working for me. Didn't held up on, on defense well, but it was working for me. I think I've got her on my Savage and, and, and Maul, uh, Zeta Maul team for Territory Wars, which isn't great. You know, it's, it's, it's again, it's so hard. It doesn't matter how much you spend on the game or how much time you put into this game. It's so incredibly difficult to build out all these different factions and build out all these different characters. You have to prioritize. And she just was not one of the characters I prioritized heavily. Uh, Cause mine's a gear. Yeah. Eight. So, I mean, that's, that's lame for my roster. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, I like the way he's got her modded. I mean, that's fine. I would go. I would prefer speed, but you know what? Again, Psycho Poet knows his stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. He's probably done the best he can with what he's got. All right. Oh, he said he was going to swap out his trooper. Let's find, let's find his trooper... If that one's not what, so developed. While you're going over that, anyone who's watching and cares to add in the comments their interpretation of the physical critical chance and the special critical chance and how mods can impact both, I'd love for you to put them in there. And then I'm sure Psychopoet will read the comments too. And let's get him in there to uh, the comments on that too. I'm sure that uh, anyone who is watching I, i'd say 80 to 90 percent of the audience is going to learn something from the, from a conversation around that so if you heard anything there and you feel like there's something that you want to to state put it out there and let's have a conversation about it so that everyone can learn all right looks like his trooper is still a work in progress uh that's what he's working with there Happy pretty much Christmas. yeah yeah all right, let's go. Yeah, on. that's that was a filler. That that was a filler character. You could tell he had six speed mods on, and none of them were maxed. That's one of those ones where you put the stuff on there so that it shows up on SWGOH.GG, just so that it shows up when you do your filters. Yep, I do that all the time with a lot of my characters. Gamorian guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. This is Kylo Ren. And... OG. OG Kylo. We got speed. We're looking at some critical damage, critical chance, potency on the plus. I like that. Uh, or would you go potency? Or would you go for a protection on a Zeta Kylo? I'm pretty sure mine has protection. I love sure protection well. on, on Kylo for yeah. obvious Zeta reasons. Can you scroll down look at his critical chance real fast? Mm -hmm. Just curious. 40. We'll call it 40. 9.78, yeah. I mean, again, the first thing I see, because I'm a mod snob, is <laughs> you want five dots on the, 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 the square and on the uh, diamond there. Uh, but again, he's got 16 speed on the secondary, so that's pretty solid. Plus, you have critical chance and potency on that diamond. That's a really... Man, that diamond, that's about as good a four-dot mod as you're ever going to find. Yep. 3% potency, 2.5% critical chance, 8 speed, 1150 protection almost. <laughs> Man, if that was only 11.75% defense, that is a yep. freaking good mod. No, I'll okay. take that. I'll take that all day. Yeah. And he's running 62% potency. That That's pretty darn good. That's yeah. going to help with his... Uh, his that his, 24 is helping that boost a lot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go check mine out. My, my Kylo. Okay, so Kylo is one of those... I ran him with my Sith, and mm -hmm. I, I think just we all did. Have a, 
a, a, a man crush on Kylo Ren in this game. I mean, I really don't know how to say it. That is, he was, oh. for the longest time, one of my absolute favorites. He's one of my first Gear 12s. Mm -hmm. His Zeta won me so many arena battles that he had no business winning. And I mean, having him and Savage in the same team for the, for a while, and then when they when they when they made the modifications to change Kylo and add the Zeta, um, yeah, I, I embraced that. He was my first Zeta. I still rank him one of the highest. My okay, let's put it this way: the protection on my Kylo Ren is fifty nine thousand one hundred. Oh jeez, mine's that's forty four. Speed, so it's not like I lost speed. From no, forty one. So. Forty one is mine. Holy cow. And every time he has a debuff, either, either a damage over time or just a debuff in general, he gains 10 speed. Yeah. So mine's at 213. I think he had him up in the 220 range, but then I finally had to move my mods around after I realized that uh, I had a I have a plus with eight plus 18 speed on a 2x on a, on a critical chance one. And I've, it's been on Kylo. It's been on Thrawn. Gosh, I don't even know where it's at now. But it's been like it's been whoever in the arena gets it. It might be on CLS now. So that's always been tough for me because it always messed things up. And now mine's in all protection. Um, yeah, but it's again, you're, you're at the mercy of your mods. Now, I switched mine up recently to offense. Okay. Critical chance, critical damage is fine. But now that his AoE attack, the lash out does not crit. Mm -hmm. yep. I've tested out having him with offense mods because of the fact that you're not going to crit anyway on one of his main attacks. And if you're running him in an all first order team, whether it's with his uh, his other version Kylo, or Phasma as your leader, it's it's all about you gain you gain 25% turn meter every time you use that attack. So really, basically, I use these. The Zeta is on was it Outrage, mm -hmm. yeah. So I only use that when I need to. Otherwise, I'm using that AOE every single stink of time. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't crit ever, what's the point of having high critical chance, high critical damage? You know, in, for that, for the fact that you're going to try and use that, you know, 50% or more of the time. So now all of a sudden, you're cutting half of your attacks out where you can't use the, and then you only have a 40% critical chance on half of your attacks. That's, you know, mathematically isn't in your favor. So I went offense. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that's the, the correct answer, but that's where I'm at now. Okay. Yeah, mine had mine in the arena when I ran the Sith. And I've had to pull mods from him, just like you. You know, you got that one golden mod. I pulled a, I pulled an 18 speed circle today or yesterday. It's like, whoa, that one's gonna be that one's gonna be seeing a lot of, you know, a lot of use to uh, these days. Um, Look at these. Look mm -hmm. at these. There's no speed on that protection on the circle. I would like to have some speed there, but you know, especially that since it's a high critical chance, I feel like that could be used elsewhere on someone you know that doesn't need the speed as much or whatnot. So I mean, that's that's the one spot I would look at because again, we're being super picky. Mm -hmm. um, everywhere else, it looks like he's done a pretty good job with the speed secondaries. So that's the one spot if you can get a different protection or a protection that also has health and protection uh, or something like that with uh, you know at least a three or four speed or you know if you get an eight to ten that'd be better. So that'd be about the only other thing besides those four dot mods and, and improving that square in particular. Okay. Oh, I think that'll do it. Oh, we looked at trooper. Yeah, trooper's not good. Let's uh, let's take a look what we can find. Let's uh, let's go fishing. As as I don't know if he's gonna like this. Oh, if he's letting us take a look under the hood, I'm gonna take a look. He's picking on oh, him now. Sure. I mean, you oh. can go pick out, pick out his cup. Let's go look at Corvo <laughs> the police and see what he's got. I was talking yeah. about like his his mods in general. Uh, you don't want to look at my cup. He's probably gonna be like level one piece of crap. I don't even know what my cup is. You, you know, I went through a phase there where it was like, oh, I've got to get more galactic power. I gotta get more galactic power. So I was powering everybody up to try and get a 70, 80, 75, 80, 85, you know, all this. And then you get into and then for territory battles. And that was that that was that totally made sense. So I got my galactic power up there and I was thinking feeling pretty good about myself. Then territory wars comes along and all those guys are worthless. Yeah. Absolutely worthless. Gear eight this one and gear nine that one. And I've got clones that are all like gear eight, gear nine. They don't do jack crap. Right. And so, like, now all of a sudden, you kind of have to rethink it. So, like, Holdo and Rose, 
are the first characters that I didn't take straight to 85 when they got released. Okay. So, I mean, I, I move them to 50, I throw some mods on them, so they'll show up on SWGOH.GG, and then I let them sit, because it's like 500,000 uh, to, to move them up to level 50, uh, and it's like 6 million to move them to eight the rest of the way. So. Mm. Alright. Yeah, that's a 5.6% critical chance on that CLS, on that protection. Oh, that's a nice circle. <laughs> if that was just a hair more speed. This could probably, this could probably go on someone else. Speed yeah, set, I mean, again, it probably well, it depends. I mean, if B2 is not an important character on his roster, like he's not on mine, mm -hmm. he might just have it there so it shows up on, on the site. What's he got here? Woo -hoo -ho -ho -ho! Well, that's a good guy. Dang. That's, that's a, a real good one. one that's a good one. Oh, what's and this? Critical damage and potency on Jedi Knight Guardian. At least the potency is in the right spot. <laughs> critical damage, it just means the pillow hits slightly less uh, pillow. <laughs> this is potency abuse right here. It is. Oh, that one too. Well, he can remove term meter. Uh, yeah, so that's true. That's true. Yeah, I'll give you yeah, that one. Jedi Knight Guardian can apply ability blocks. That's those are those, again. They're probably there as a placeholder because if those characters aren't aren't used, you know, significantly. Like, my nice is, actually, it's funny because I'm looking at these. Four of the top six that he has here are characters that are on my bottom ten characters. <laughs> you know, Thrawn and, and, and Trooper are the two that I would actually, that I actually use. The other four are, you know, those are characters I would only have them up there so that when you did a filter, I could see what I've got. Speaking of Thrawn, let's see if we can find one that wouldn't go... I'd like to see what this one procs out to. Yeah. Well, I, it's on level four, so it, that's it's it's max. That's as far as it'll go. Mm. It was probably a plus four, or plus five, and then he upgraded it once to see if it was a nine, and then left it. I do that a lot. I'll, I'll go to, or I'll take it to level nine. And I'll leave it there. That could be a potential. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That potency is kind of wasted on Thrawn. I would max that one out and put it on Thrawn, because mm -hmm. then you get one more speed. You're going to get a stat that's going to replace potency, which is wasted on him. If you get any other stat that's halfway decent, that's good. Plus, you're getting that protection. When you've got his ability maxed out, he regains 40% protection. So, I mean, that's, yeah, actually, that, that would be a nice trade out. I would max that one out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There unless, we go. Unless all the other secondaries stink, but most likely I'd put it on. All right, let's wrap it up. I know you want to plug the site. If uh, you guys don't have uh, any idea what to do with on a character as far as mods go, just go to gaming-fans.com, hover over this first link, go down to the first link, you'll see mods. And they've got mod guides for 95% of the characters in the game. Uh, all the ones with the blue links, those are their full mod guides waiting for you. The ones with the black are not... And there's a full guide, everything you wanted to know, and how to mod it. Okay, LJ, anything else you wanted to say? Anything new coming up on the site that you wanted to wanted to talk about? Well, I'm gonna get um, the. There's an article going around about territory wars that is a guide to territory wars by a gentleman from uh, the Alliance, and uh, he has agreed to join us, uh, our staff, and help on the Territory Battles, Territory War content, which I'm very excited about. Um, so that, that's going to be a nice addition to the site. Um, I see that you have ad blocker on, shame on you. <laughs> Sites like this only can pay their writers based on the ads that are displayed, and you take away that opportunity for me I'm to give sorry. them a hearing. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> Just messing with you. Um, yeah, I've got Holdo and Rose finally are going to be released here in the next uh, three or four days. So i got to get those up there. I'm a little tardy on both of those. Uh, mod reviews, I want to get them taken care of. Um, yeah, other than that, actually that first one, a deeper look at move mechanics, which is the main our article uh, right there. That's actually by Psycho Poet, who we just reviewed mods for. So, oh. um, you know, yeah, I'm... I'm we got a lot of good stuff going on. The mod section continues to just get hammered by traffic and in a good way. Um, keep it, uh, keep checking it out, and then look at the SWGOH 101 section, which is rapidly growing. Uh, a lot of good things coming along here. Uh, I got some other games we're going to start covering a little bit more over on the right and there. Uh, Marvel Future Fight, Far Serena for Star Wars, and Transformers Earth Wars. 
a little bit of Battlefront. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we got some other things, but Galaxy of Heroes is the bread and butter, and we're never going away from Galaxy of Heroes. So uh, we got some good things, and I just encourage you all to check it out. All right. That'll do it for us. Uh, on behalf of LJ, I'm Hagar. I'll catch you next time.